In this video, I'm going to show you 10 free Final Cut Pro plugins that you absolutely need to check out. Now this video is going to move very fast, I will barely scratch the surface on a lot of these plugins, but if you want more details on any of them, there will be links down below. The first plugin on this list is my truly handheld effect for Final Cut Pro. You could apply the default handheld effect in Final Cut Pro, but I find that it looks very robotic and it has some major issues right around the 10 second mark. So I created these perfectly looped handheld movements using a real life camera tracking data. It also has an edge mode so that there are no black edges. If I change this over to none, you can see the black edges that are there. But if we change that back to repeat now, you don't see any edges at all. You can offset it a little bit using this on-screen control if you need to go one way or another. There's also a smoothing slider. So if you want to smooth out the movements, make it less like a DSLR and more like a big steady rig, you can do just that. And finally, there's this custom handheld movement where you can go in and dial each of the settings to get it looking exactly as you like it to make it as shaky or non-shaky as you want and all of those are key frameable. There are a lot of adjustment layers for Final Cut Pro, but I happen to think that FX Factory does the very best job with their adjustment layer. Going into our titles, we can go to our adjustment layers and you'll see all of these different adjustment layers. I do have more videos showcasing all of the different features that this has, but the most common one that people use is of course just the regular adjustment layer. And this is very helpful because I can apply this over the top of all of these different clips and then I can apply any effect I want to that adjustment layer and all of the clips that are underneath are going to receive it. So the one that I see that happens the most is people apply the custom LUT effect and I'm just gonna drop in my friend Dylan John's LUTs. They're excellent by the way and we can go ahead and use this Denver standard look. So now all of these clips have that Denver standard look to them. I don't need to copy and paste the effects across the board. Just very clean and simple. And one other feature that I want to point out for this is it actually has the widescreen black bars and they are animated if you want them to be and we can jump in here, we can disable that animation, we can set the aspect ratio. So lots of powerful features within this adjustment layer and I find myself using it on every single project. Plugin number three is very new to me and it was shown to me by my friend Raphael Ludwig. It's created by this guy named Tapio Haja, I don't know how to say it, but it adds a ton of really incredible animation presets directly into Final Cut Pro and honestly, I don't know why he's giving it away for free because it's just that good. Going into my effects, we'll see Tap 5A here and I have this quick in an out animator and this quick in and out bouncer. So I'm just gonna apply this quick in and out animator to this text and you'll see that just like that, it has animated the text for me. If we jump into our video presets here, we can select from any of these presets that he has built. So let's try float from left and we'll push play on that. It's got this really beautiful animation happening. We can change how long the animation takes to play out if you want it a little slower or maybe a little faster. Another option is this quick in and out bouncer and it's actually a whole other plugin from him, but this is a two for one and you'll see how that is bouncing in the animation just like that. I can of course choose stuff like this spin in. Um, I can set how long it takes to spin in. So tons and tons of really powerful options. And again, I don't know why he's giving this away for free. He does have a PayPal link that you might want to consider donating to once you've downloaded the plugin, but he is giving it away completely for free links down below. This next one is in a very similar vein, but it comes from Motion VFX. MBA Fear Basic has all of these different animation presets. However, they are applied as an adjustment layer. So if I were to drag this on top of everything, everything in the scene is going to be animated. And that's kind of the difference between using the Tap 5A one and the M Behavior Basic. Um, again, I can do this drop in look. Uh, we could try the enlarge in. So tons and tons of options. If you wanted to apply these animations to a singular object, you would need to select both the bounce X in and the press the like button. Text that I have here, right click and put them into a new compound clip. And so now if we push play, we can see that the animation has been applied just to the text. So very powerful. You can see there are tons and tons of different animation presets that they have set up for you. So I highly recommend that you check out M Behavior Basic. They also have a paid one that you can upgrade to if you are interested down the road. This next one is a transition pack from my friend Brad over at Brad and Donna, and he does have a paid upgrade one, which I have, but I'll show you all the ones that come for free. The free version comes with whip down, whip left, whip right, and whip up, as well as zoom in simple and zoom out simple. We'll go ahead and apply whip down on the shot and now just like that we have this great whip down transition um, we could go ahead and do a whip left transition over here just like so and then the ones that I really
really, really like are his zoom in transitions. So I'll go ahead and play that out or we can try the zoom out. So they are really simple transitions, but great to have in your arsenal. I have used them on multiple projects. So make sure you follow the link down in the description. This next one is a really, really massive one. And I have a much more detailed video that I'll link down below. Essentially, you can apply this onto any shot you would like. You can jump into the effects editor and there are several hundred different presets you can play around with to get different looks on your video. But that's far from where the real power of this plugin shines. The real power lies in that it actually has a mocha mask tracker on it. So I'll go ahead and open up this shot. We can go ahead and select the magnet tool. I'm going to do a very rough outline around our actress here. So I've done a very rough outline and I'll push track forward and Mocha is going to do its Mocha tracking magic. And now that it's done that, we can go ahead and push save and close out this window. Now we can jump into the effects editor and choose one of these different looks. I'll go ahead and just choose antique. And now you'll see that this mocha tracking has masked just around our actress. We can of course jump in here and we could invert the mask if we wanted to. Um, we can feather it out. Now my friend Brad did a great video where he showed how you can actually rotoscope using this free tool. So make sure you check out that link down below as well. Something I wanna add is make sure you follow the installation instructions to a T because it requires an activation key even though it's a free plugin. If you don't follow those activation instructions, you're gonna get a big red X on your screen and you're gonna come and complain in the comments to me that it wasn't a free plugin. It is free, you just need to follow the instructions. On to the next plugin. So this next plugin comes from our friends over at Motion VFX. Here I am in the effects browser and you'll see that I have six different presets I can go ahead and apply. I'll go ahead and just drag on M light one here and you'll see if you look closely here, I'll go ahead and enable and disable that now we're getting these cool light streaks across on our video. I'll go ahead and drag up the light amount so you can really see what it's doing. We could change the color over to an orange color. And so you can play around with all these different settings to get these really cool looking glow effects on your video. And here I'll go ahead and apply it to this shot as well. You'll see that I'm getting all these cool streaky kind of anamorphic flares off of everything in the scene. I use it a ton as a halation effect on my scene so I definitely recommend that you check out M Light Diffuse. Again, completely free, link down below. This next plugin is less of a visual effects plugin and much more of a workflow plugin. Command Post is so amazingly powerful that it's way too large for me to cover inside of this video, but here's a quick rundown of my absolute favorite feature. At any time, I can push Control Space and it gives me this search window. Now all I need to do is just type in whatever I want. So I'll type in adjustment layer and then I can go ahead and apply that. Now I have an adjustment layer here on my timeline. Then let's say I wanted to apply the LUT to that. I could do control space, custom LUT and apply that. And so now it has this LUT. We'll just drop in this quick LUT from my friend Dylan John. And let's say we wanted the handheld effect on it. So we could just look up handheld and apply the 105 handheld effect here. It is by far the fastest way to apply any effects, transitions, titles, anything you could want on your scene. And that is barely scratching the surface of everything Command Post can do. So make sure you go check out Command Post. It is open source and there are donate links, which I highly recommend that you use if you are able to, if you get any value out of the plugin. This next one is another one from my friends over at Motion VFX. Now Ember to go can be used on videos, but I love using it, especially for photos. So here I am on my timeline. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply Ember to go from onto this static scene. I'll actually just trim this way down. And so it has this really, really cool effect on this photo. I love using this for documentaries when I want a little bit of extra movement. I'll usually tone it back a bit, but we could also try M Vertigo 2 here and I'll trim this with option right bracket. So now this scene looks very three dimensional as if we're going through this hallway. I just love the extra dimension that it adds onto my static shots. And finally, last but not least is my plugin Saber, which was massively inspired by video copilot Saber for After Effects. I'm just going to click and drag Saber onto this text group and now this text has this saber effect. I can go ahead and drop to the bottom, drop the opacity. So now it's just this glowing text. We can of course change the colors over to whatever we want. Tons and tons of different possibilities that you're only gonna be able to see if you're actually using the effect for yourself. So again, links down below, it's pay what you want. So you can just slap a big fat zero into the checkout box and get it completely for free. If this video was helpful to you, you might wanna consider checking out this video where I show five paid plugins that are extremely powerful for Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.